The Mobile Servicing System MSS, also known as Canadarm2, is a robotic system on board the International Space Station ISS. Launched to the ISS in 2001, it plays a key role in station assembly and maintenance, it moves equipment and supplies around the station, supports astronauts working in space, and services instruments and other payloads attached to the ISS and is used for external maintenance. Astronauts receive specialized training to enable them to perform these functions with the various systems of the MSS. The MSS is composed of three components, the Space Station Remote Manipulator System SSRMS, known as Canadarm2, the Mobile Remote Servicer Base System MBS, and the Special Purpose Dextrous Manipulator SPDM, also known as Dextra or Canada Hand. The system can move along rails on the integrated truss structure on top of the U.S. provided mobile transporter cart which hosts the MISA's base system. The system's control software was written in the ADA 95 programming language. The MSS was designed and manufactured by MDA Space Missions, previously called MD Robotics, previously called SPAR Aerospace, for the Canadian Space Agency contribution to the International Space Station. Topic. Canadarm2 Officially known as the Space Station Remote Manipulator System SSRMS. Launched on STS-100 in April 2001, this second-generation arm is a larger, more advanced version of the Space Shuttle's original Canadarm. Canadarm2 is 17.6 meters, 58 feet when fully extended and has seven motorized joints and elbow hinge in the middle and three rotary joints at each of the wrist shoulder ends. It has a mass of 1800 kilograms, 4000 pounds and a diameter of 35 centimeters, 14 in. The arm is capable of handling large payloads of up to 116,000 kg pounds and was able to assist with docking the Space Shuttle. It is self-relocatable and can move end over end to reach many parts of the space station in an inchworm-like movement. In this movement, it is limited only by the number of power data grapple fixtures PDGFs on the station. PDGFs located around the station provide power, data and video to the arm through either of its two latching end effectors Lees. The arm can also travel the entire length of the space station truss using the mobile base system. In addition to moving itself around the station, the arm can move any object with a grapple fixture. In construction of the station the arm was used to move large segments into place. It can also be used to capture unpiloted ships like the SpaceX Dragon, the Cygnus spacecraft, and Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle HTV, which are equipped with a standard grapple fixture which the Canadarm2 uses to capture and dock the spacecraft. The arm is also used to undock and release the spacecraft after use. Onboard operators see what they are doing by looking at the three robotic workstation RWS LCD screens. The MSS has two RWS units, one located in the Destiny module, US Lab module and the other in the cupola. Only one RWS controls the MSS at a time. The RWS has two sets of control joysticks, one rotational hand controller RHC and one translational hand controller THC. In addition to this is the display and control panel DCP and the portable computer system PCS laptop. In recent years, the majority of robotic operations are commanded remotely by flight controllers on the ground at Mission Control Center NASA, or from the Canadian Space Agency. Operators can work in shifts to accomplish objectives with more flexibility than when done by onboard crew operators, albeit at a slower pace. Astronaut operators are used for time-critical operations such as visiting vehicle captures and robotics-supported extravehicular activity. Topic. Latching end effectors Canadarm2 has two lees, one at each end. A lee has three snare wires to catch the grapple fixture shaft. Another lee is on the mobile base system's payload ORU accommodations unit. The POA lee is used to temporarily hold large ISS components. 
One more is on the special purpose dextrous manipulator SPDM, also known as Dextra or Canada Hand. Six Lees have been manufactured and used in various locations on the ISS. Topic: <laughs> Special Purpose Dextrous Manipulator. The Special Purpose Dextrous Manipulator or Dextra is a smaller two-armed robot that can attach to Canadarm2, the ISS or the mobile base system. The arms and its power tools are capable of handling the delicate assembly tasks and changing orbital replacement units ORUs currently handled by astronauts during spacewalks. Although Canadarm2 can move around the station in an inchworm motion, it's unable to carry anything with it unless Dextra is attached. Testing was done in the space simulation chambers of the Canadian space agency David Florida Laboratory in Ottawa, Ontario. The manipulator was launched to the station the 11th of March 2008 on STS-123. Topic: Mobile base system. The Mobile Remote Servicer Base System MBS is a base platform for the robotic arms. It was added to the station during STS-111 in June 2002. The platform rests atop the mobile transporter installed on STS-110, designed by Northrop Grumman in Carpinteria, CA, which allows it to glide 108 meters down rails on the station's main truss. Canadarm2 can relocate by itself, but can't carry at the same time, Dextra can't relocate by itself. The MBS gives the two robotic arms the ability to travel to work sites all along the truss structure and to step off onto grapple fixtures along the way. When Canadarm2 and Dextra are attached to the MBS, they have a combined mass of 4,900 kg Like Canadarm2 it was built by MD Robotics and it has a minimum service life of 15 years. The MBS is equipped with four power data grapple fixtures, one at each of its four top corners. Any of these can be used as a base for the two robots, Canadarm2 and Dextra, as well as any of the payloads that might be held by them. The MBS also has two locations to attach payloads. The first is the payload, Orbital Replacement Unit Accommodations POA. This is a device that looks and functions much like the latching end effectors of Canadarm2. It can be used to park, power and command any payload with a grapple fixture, while keeping Canadarm2 free to do something else. The other attachment location is the MBS Common Attachment System MCAS. This is another type of attachment system that is used to host scientific experiments. The MBS also supports astronauts during extravehicular activities. It has locations to store tools and equipment, foot restraints, handrails and safety tether attachment points as well as a camera assembly. If needed, it is even possible for an astronaut to ride the MBS while it moves at a top speed of about 1.5 meters per minute. On either side of the MBS are the crew and equipment translation aids. These carts ride on the same rails as the MBS. Astronauts ride them manually during EVAs to transport equipment and to facilitate their movements around the station. <laughs> <laughs> Enhanced ISS boom assembly Installed on May 27, 2011, is a 15.24 meter (50 foot) boom with handrails and inspection cameras attached to the end of Canadarm2. Topic: Other ISS robotics. The station received a second robotic arm during STS-124, the Japanese Experiment Module Remote Manipulator System The GEM-RMS will be primarily used to service the GEM-exposed facility. An additional robotic arm, the European Robotic Arm era, is scheduled to launch alongside the Russian-built Multipurpose Laboratory Module during 2017. Connected to PIRs, the ISS also has two Strela cargo cranes. One of the cranes can be extended to reach the end of Zaria. 
The other can extend to the opposite side and reach the end of Zvezda. The first crane was assembled in space during STS-96 and STS-101. The second crane was launched alongside PIRs itself. See also McDonald Detweiler & Associates MDA, the manufacturers of Canadarm2 Canadarm, which was used on the Space Shuttle orbiters European Robotic Arm, a third robotic arm to be installed on the ISS The Remote Manipulator System, used on the ISS module Kibo Dextra, also known as the Special Purpose Dextrous Manipulator SPDM, used on the ISS Strela, a crane used on the ISS to perform similar tasks as the Mobile Servicing System <laughs>